Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Johnson, your German potato. As you can see, we got the Opel Manta now. The mighty Manta, the rally legend, the beast. Finally, after having it in Forza Horizon 3, the Forza guys decided to make the Bounty Hunter challenge um, and to give it to the people. So here we go, people of Earth. That's the Manta. In Germany, most people just know this car because of the movie Manta, or its sequel Manta Manta, with Germany's best actor, Till Schweiger. <coughs> I don't know where that came from, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry guys. By the way, Till Schweiger had his best role in Inglourious Bastards when he had to speak two sentences. Und ab jetzt sind wir zu dritt. Und auf die Entfernung bin ich ein richtiger Frederik Zoller. <laughs> But here we go guys, I want to show you my tune, my build, and then we're picking this car to drive some online races to smash some noobs online and let's see how this car works in Forza 6 online A-class lobbies. But okay guys, what did I do to make this car A700 and to make it some kind of competitive? Unfortunately, we need to swap the engine to the turbo rally engine. I don't like it at all, but that's the only way. We tried something else, uh, Marple and Liquid tuned the car before, and that was the only way to make it competitive, guys. So, rally engine, which requires TCS afterwards, unfortunately. So, take this turbo rally engine, and then we need the rear wing, which is adjustable, um, tires and rims, yeah, I think we have the widest rear tires and some other rims. Um, by the way, just to tell you in advance, you can download this tune from my storefront and it will be uploaded when the video goes online, so why don't you try it out on your own? Um, the drivetrain is also changed, the transmission, we have the sport transmission and the race differential settings. We took everything in here, so all race installments. Um, and yeah, when it comes to the engine, we only have the restricted plate. It's a rally car. Um, it's a rally engine car. So that's almost it, guys. I can also show you, some, uh, show you something from the tuning itself, and that's almost it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just showing you some small parts of the tuning itself. Um, right now you see the tire pressure. As you can see, we made the gears pretty long. The final drive is 2.35. Um, here you see the alignment, followed by the anti-roll bars, the springs, the damping, and the arrow. Take a look at the arrow, it's so funny. Downforce, 14 kilogram and 23 kilograms, so that's just nothing. They just put some wood on the car and say, now we have downforce. Yeah, it's, it's weird, guys, it's weird. Here's my brake pressure for this setup, guys. Um, you can switch that to something else if you like to. And yeah, that's the differential because this car has to steer when you um, when you use the throttle with TCS so that it's like um, oversteering so that you have to tap steer to control the car. So that's the theory behind it. And now guys, let's take this car online to smash some noobs. I'm really looking forward to it. No, I don't because I don't like rally engines and TCS and blah, blah, blah. I'll get smashed. Well guys, now we're taking this car to smash some noobs, just like I said before. Um, as you can see, this is a full-packed lobby. Unfortunately, Forza doesn't have rally tracks. I mean, this is a rally monster, but I'm pretty sure, guys, people will wreck me off the track, and then we have some rally action. I mean, it's public lobbies in the first place, which means carnage, crashes, a yelling Johnson, and lots of noobs. Let's see what's happening. And yeah, guys, there's actually too much light in my room at the moment. Um, so basement mode engaged. I wouldn't see anything if it's so bright in here. So yeah, basement mode. Oh, we're starting in the middle of the pack. 14th out of 18th. Okay, that's more like back of the pack. Let's see what happens. Oh, he was ghosted. Hitachi next to me. Oh. People of Earth. He was just switching his line then. Okay, uh, I am afraid where to go. Okay, let, let's cut here a bit because I actually want to survive, guys. I want to survive. So, guys, I already told you this is the rally engine. That means we have to shift this car at like 
5,600. Um, so that we're not losing power. Okay, as you can see, boom. Boom. That's the way you shift the rally engine, or you will lose lots of power. Okay, this guy is braking very late, but it was okay. Damn it, take a look at his light. He's surviving. If ACR Dr. Sash is helping him a bit, yeah, great stuff. I was actually too shy. I was I was too afraid something will happen. Oh, like this. Something like this. Oh yeah, something like this. Woo! And we finally have our rally car. Ugh. Walter Ruhe would be proud, I think. Damn it. Nice, nice, cool, cool stuff guys, cool stuff, keep it up. TCS and rally engine, oh, I just hate it. 500 meters behind the first guy, we are in the 10th position right now. Unfortunately you can't see the old Pamanta right now, so good. <laughs> but this will change, there will be more races guys. But now, let's just try to, to get a decent position. Ninth top ten racer Johnson. ACR Dr. Sash, the Austrian guy. Germany never had problems with Austrian guys in the past. Okay. Oh god, I'm late, guys. I'm late. I'm late. I'm crashing. I'm not crashing. I survived. It's all good. Here, Dr. Sash. I'm sorry that I was probably holding you off a bit now in this corner, but yeah, it was a must. Okay. Canadian guy in front of me, SGR something. Is that your brother, race boy? Oh, problems. Goodbye, man. Goodbye. It was nice to meet you. Rip and ripperonis. Press F to pay respect. Aw, oh, TCS, I hate you! Okay. okay, race boys, brother. Do you leave me some space? Yes, he does. Oh. But there is... No! 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 Come on! Die! <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. Why? Just why? Tell me. <laughs> it's so... I don't know what to say. Unfortunate wouldn't be the right word because this is pure... Shit. Okay, Rebellion, come on. It's on, Rebellion. Yes. That's fair racing, Rebellion. That's fair racing. Thanks for letting me pass over here. I'll send you some cookies afterwards. And now, let's try to hunt some people in the top five. But yeah, this will be hard. I think I won't be able to get a very decent position in the end. Um, I'm afraid of this guy actually. In the mono. Nothing ever happened when you fought a mono. No one said before. Hey guys, you see me on position 8 right now. Something happened. People happened. But because of reasons, I had to cut this out of the video. Hmm, maybe there will be some kind of outtakes. Someday. But yeah, in the end, it was just a mess. And I hope the next race is going to be better. Yeah guys, I need to change the lobby because people voted for Le Mans. And yeah, Opel Manta and Le Mans probably a bit too slow at the moment. And this lobby I was joining right now, as you can see, it's probably lagging. And people are just wrecking each other. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> God, who are you? Your name is Dark Furious. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Guys, I think we should we should start a video series like I'm just watching public lobby racing and I'm making fun of it. That would be very interesting. That would be very interesting. 
What is this? Damn it. Okay. Let's, let's switch to somebody else. Let's switch to somebody else. Oh. Oh, I see crashes. Oh, someone is flipping. <laughs> I'm definitely going to leave this server. Our family's passion is chase. Hmm, yeah guys, the loading time is really that long. It's already the second time they show me the Sargento truck. Our family's passion is cheese, by the way. Huh? Oh, 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 it starts! Ooh. Damn it! As you can see, some people lagged out of the lobby. Those two people lagged out and they crashed the lobby. Thank you guys, thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, push me, push me. Mm. Okay guys, here we go. There's another Opa Manta in front of us. I have a Christmas driving it. Greets to France. French guy driving the German car. I'm proud of you, man, I'm proud of you. Oh, and he has to break for the other guys. But seems like this lobby is bit more fair than the other lobbies. Seems like people race in this and don't do the distraction derby all the time. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, 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 Chris having problems. Here we go. Oh god. Yeah, guys, just, just, just close the inside line so that the guy who's actually on the inside line doesn't have a chance to go there. Oh god, oh god. Oh, we survived, guys, we survived. Chris did as well. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Breaking a bit too early though. But we live. We live. Seventh position position now. The ghetto bastard is in the lead. Break top, what's up? Uh yeah. <laughs> okay. Good move, man. Yeah. Just extend, that's cool. Okay, it's sliding up. large cappuccino in front of us a large cappuccino I like mine medium actually I like mine medium Whoa. Whoa, from the outside Whatever you need to do to be fast, please. Okay, we're fifth now. We overtook some people in our open manta. Two laps to go after this corner. Do you see this fight in front of us, guys? That's the fight we have to use to actually catch up. Because they will lose time while they fight. Oh, and the Spanish guy already messing it up. Nice one, dude. Oh, let's jump over here like a ski jumper and TCS is killing us while using this line cool A good fourth position in the end ladies and gentlemen a good fourth position The AI driver from Blaze is having a very interesting line at the moment So let's check the race result guys. Oh, yeah, the guys in the lead. Okay, they took the OP cars, the Supra and, and the WRX04. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Compared to my Manta, they're pretty good, probably. Daytona Short Circuit. Are they serious? What the fuck is going on with the track selection today? No track fits to my car. For the Opel Manta, you need some mid-speed track, you know, like, like Sebring, for example. But this is a speed track, and we'll be ba uh, we will be bad again. But this is an Opel Manta video, so I have to drive the Opel Manta on this track. Rip Johnson. We're starting from the first, uh, from the third position, ladies and gentlemen. It will be bad anyway because our car will just be too slow. I'm aiming for a position around top ten. Let's, let's just try to survive the first corner. Large Cappuccino is back in the Supra again. 
Uh, well, when I say my car doesn't fit the track, then his Supra probably fits it even less. Speed up! Go Blaze! Go Blaze! Go Blaze! Go boy! Oh Blaze! Oh, I knew that was... <laughs> I knew that would come. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry Blaze. But that was... that was amazing. <laughs> great line Blaze, great line. Okay. Now, here we go. Let's see how fast this car in front of me is. Is my car even faster on the straight? It is. I'm catching up. My car is faster than his one. <laughs> we can be in the lead with our Opel Manta now. Okay. Okay, I'm afraid. I'm afraid this guy's doing something stupid. No, it's all good. All right, that's great. <laughs> Amazing. We're in the lead. Oh, but IFE Chris is coming. I see it. I see it. Just take a look. At the left. Lap 3 out of 4. We are in the handling part again. Oh god, I'm slightly late at the moment. I've got the worst line someone ever had. And we will get overtaken now on this straight, guys. We will get overtaken. Get ready. There's a plane coming. There's a plane coming. Oh, oh where is it? There it is. There's the plane. Do you see it? It's this little point over there. It will be different after the straight. Trust me, it will be different. Oh, I forgot to shift. <laughs> mm, okay. Take a look. Take a look at it, guys. Take a look at it. I'm driving snake lines in front of them. <laughs> Oh god, oh, do you see how early he has to break? And now we got the problem that we're stuck behind him in this handling part. Oh, I think... He let us go, he let us go, he's like, ah, come on Johnson, I get you anyway afterwards, so fuck that. Oh god, nice, nice. Okay guys, let's enjoy. Our last meter is in the lead. No, I'm afraid. Let me live, please. Let me live. I'm placing some cones. Maybe he's dying because of them, guys. Let's see. <laughs> oh, no. They didn't kill him. Letting me win! He is letting me win, guys! Such a nice guy! <laughs> ah, funny stuff. <laughs> Ivy Chris, I think I think he was just afraid to overtake me because he saw, oh my god, take a look at this noob in front of me. He's driving slake as snake lines. I will just destroy my car. And hey! In the end, Johnson was winning, guys. I was winning. Welcome to the last race guys, the Silverstone Racing Circuit. It's the national version. And as you can see, it's not the basement mode anymore. We have some light. You know, I feel so much better already. But let's see how the race will be. Let's see what my starting position will be. After the race on Daytona, my time was probably like 4th or 5th fast. Oh, it was the 3rd fast. Okay, here we go guys, let's see. Oh, the start is always so bad. But we got those OP guys in front of us again. So I think it's oh, Blaze. I mean, just don't drive in the middle of the track when you're overtaking me, okay? That would be nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Whew. But it seems like oh, it could work. It could work. It could work. See you guys, let's hunt those guys. 
let's hunt them without mercy. Silverstone National Circuit. Will it be my race? Will I get those guys in front of me? The guys who just destroyed me on Road to Mary can't take a look at Ghetto Bastard. Totally messing it up like a scrub. What happened to you, mate? Second position already behind this Jeep. I think our car is even better this time compared to this Jeep. Nice cutback from him. Nice cutback. But now it's the straight, it's the Opel Manta time, my friend. Oh, I'm late. Come on, man. I'm leaving you space. It's all good. Your handling is a bit better than mine, I think. So, oh, yeah. But if there's someone in front of you, you also have to watch out for him. As you can see, we're still in the lead, guys. Lab 5, Ghetto Bastard was messing it up in his superior Supra. Um... The Jeep guy is still on second, so nothing really changed, nothing really happened. And as you can see guys, it's all about tap steering in this car. It's really important when you use the rally engine and TCS and A-Class, it's all about tap steering. This is the way you can, con uh, you can control your car. I actually don't like this style of driving, um, but yeah, this is the only way to get this car somewhat competitive. I think I already said this. So yeah, I apologize again. So if you get this tune guys, if you download it now from my storefront, try it out, try it out. It's it's not too bad if you get used to it. As you can see, nobody's catching up really and on those tracks it's it's competitive. You can win races. But it's it's a weird driving car. Unfortunately they made it this way. Um but yeah, it's definitely an interesting addition to the game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite cars right now. I don't really like the driving style uh, which it's requiring, but hey, that's it, guys. That's it. That's the way you have to drive it, so live with it or don't. And don't drive the car. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm winning this race. I was winning two races in a row. I was definitely better on the Daytona race. <laughs> um, so, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, smash the laugh button. Smash the laugh button. I don't know where, but just smash it, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.